Um, if not for the misplace of sound doctrine and then the misplace of foundational values, CNS or the Aladra movement will not be a set that anybody will use as their platform topic. And I want to say this to you. Praise God. If you are lazy, announce it. But if you are not lazy, study the scripture. There are many matters to settle in the body of Christ. Making the Aladra a subject on your platform shows that you don't have something serious you want to do. Face the vices in your church. Face the vices in your denomination. Teach them how to become Christians. Are you with me? Because the truth of the matter is that God has a remnant in all denominations. When you meet one man and one man represents a race, your mindset about that race will be that one man. Even if that race is the race of angels. So we must come to the place of maturity where we treat a man as a man. A race as a race. Because those matters contribute nothing to your eternal destination and your eternal destiny. There are many questions that people posted at the Lord Jesus Christ and then he answered some of these questions by, with questions. The question that will answer this question is Sir and man, if you put off your shoes and your slippers does it make you lesser spiritually? If you wear your shoe and you enter a CNS church if they permit it are you with me? Praise God. Praise God. Does it take you to hell? Now, if you decide to say, okay, the way we are going to worship is that we go in by procession. And then you say, no, in our own place, we don't go in by procession. We start our service. And then um, we just do praise and worship and then we sing and then we do anything. How does that affect your eternal destination? Now, if they are not matters of eternal value and they are not fundamental issues that affect sound doctrine, they should not be a subject of discussion and argument. The appropriate mode of worship that Jesus prescribed to us is in John chapter 4. When you read from verse 24, Jesus said, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him. How? In spirit and in truth. Now you see, if the service is in spirit and in truth, whether with procession or no procession, it is acceptable in heaven. Whether you read Psalms or you don't read Psalms, it is acceptable where? As long as it is what? In spirit and in truth. Now, people had asked me questions about... Um, candles about incense about all these things now you see we tend towards temple worship we tend towards temple worship and then the temple worship is a type of an antitype the antitype was revealed in the person of the christ so that what you see as the tabernacle are you with me is a pointer to a person there is a pointer to a person in the pattern. Unfortunately, the person came, a great number of us are still holding to the pattern. So what matters is not the tying of garden. What matters is not the white. What matters is not putting off of shoe or wearing it. What matters is worshipping how? In spirit and in truth. I've been on that Bishop David Oedeko's ministration many times. I've been under his life ministration. Listen, we were under a ministration one day and then the power of God rested on, on Bishop and Bishop asked all of us to put off our what? Our shoes. And all of us did. Now, you see, putting off our shoes does not put away our salvation. So please, um, that should not be a matter of um, serious argument. Now, you see, in places where we just want to hold on to our dogmas and then we find scriptures. Uh, passages to back up some certain things that we practice when the person has come we should be careful now we have read it severally that the bible said the seven lamps born and revelation explained it to us which are what the seven spirit of god so when a prophet say i see fitila in your presence in your in what you read, it's not necessarily a can please are you with me 
So it doesn't mean that you should go and carry a candle and then you burn a candle. You see, let me say this to you. Until you understand, are you with me? Please, are you here? Until you understand the liquid frank of the spirit, until you understand the legs and the structures of the spirit, when you see some certain things, you will give wrong interpretation to them. And one of the wrong interpretation, are you with me now? Is that you see can you see a light, you see a fitila or what you call it, lamp before someone, and you say, Oluwa niko oluwa bela meta kofi batwa. Are you with me? It may not necessarily be using candle. So that's the interpretation. So if we want to light seven candles in our church, let's ask for seven spirit of God. And as long as the Holy Ghost is in our midst, we will not be needing what? It, let's be very sincere with ourselves. That's the Bible. Revelation chapter 4 verse 5 explains it. It says, And out of the throne proceeded lightning and thunderings and voices. And there were what? Seven lamps of fire burning before what? The throne. Which are what? The seven spirit of God. So when the Holy Ghost is present, my dear, you don't need a candle. Now all these practices, those dogmas that we are trying to hold on to, that are not in line with sound doctrine, they are the ones we should just abandon. But you see, the matter of um, uh, should we put off our shoe? Should we wear it? Should we tie gadu? Should we not tie gadu? Is are you with me now? In fact, let me even say this to you: in the in the doctrine of Baba Moses Romani that he wrote down, one of the things he said that this paraphernalia is not a uniform of every time. He said it will only be it went to where it will be directed as the spirit of God leads the Baba. Are you with me? And please, I want us to come to a place where what does not affect eternal destination of men, are you with me? Should never be the reason why we are going to hinder any man from worship. I've seen places where the hands of God rested on someone and the word of God want to come out of the person and they say, what's what I that's not right so that's my response to that one please um you wear your whatever and then those ones they don't have any eternal consequences on man and anything that don't have eternal consequences on man please they should not be a subject where we dwell so much upon and then we take so much time that's going to be my response to amen